Hello everyone, my name is Afsar Khan. I am presenting a short video about stem cells. Every time we read in news about stem cells, like scientists are curing cancer with the help of these cells, forming new organ and regenerating new organ with the help of stem cells, etc. This is an emerging topic in various competitive exams. So let's start. Human body is composed of over 200 cell types. Each and every cell have their own function like nerve cells, transmit signals, sperm cells and ovum contributes to zygote and fat cells store fat within it. But, but stem cells do not have a specific function assigned to them. So what is stem cells? Stem cells are undifferentiated biological cells that can be converted into other cell types and can divide to produce more stem cells. As I told you in previous slide, Undifferentiated cells means a cell which is not assigned to a particular function whereas differentiated cell that is assigned to a particular function. As you can see in diagram, stem cell have property to replicate itself. It can renew itself and divide into similar cell types or it can differentiate to form various cells like fat cells, muscle cells, blood cells, nerve cells, etc. Sub stem cells The two main stem cell types are embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells also called somatic stem cells. Embryonic stem cells are those cells that is derived from undifferentiated inner cell mass of human embryo. As you, you can see in diagram, when sperm encounter ovum, it forms zygote and then divide to form morula stage of embryo. Till morula stage, every cell is totipotent, means it can form any type of cells. Then next stage is blastocyst after morula stage in which inner cell mass is present and these cells are embryonic stem cells which are pluripotent cells. And coming to second type, adult stem cells are stem cells which maintain and repair in tissue in which they are found. They can be found in children as well as adults. Like skin stem cells, when the cell is injured, these stem cells come into function and repair the skin. And it is unipotent, mean it can form only similar kind of cells like here skin stem cell produces skin cells only. The most dynamic property of stem cell is its cell potency. A cell potency is a cell ability to differentiate into other cell types. Cell potency are categorized into various categories like totipotency, pluripotency, multipotency and oligopotency. Let's see one by one. Totipotency is a phenomena where a single cell can be converted into any cell type. For example, embryo cell. As we seen that till morula stage every cell is a totipotent. Now when a single cell can be converted into many cell type, nearly all cell type, these cells are called pluripotent. Example include inner cell mass of blastocyst as we have seen that ki these cells are pluripotent. Where the multipotent cells are the cells which can develop into more than one cell type. For example, the bone marrow contain multipotent stem cells that give rise to all the cell of the blood, not to other types of cells. And the oligopotency includes single cell can be converted into few cell types, example lymphoid and myeloid stem cells. Another type of stem cell is a pluripotent stem cell that is induced. So it is called induced pluripotent stem cell. Somatic cells are not originally pluripotent. Pluripotency is induced by a process called dedifferentiation. Such cells become IPSC. Here in diagram we can see that differentiated cell, any cell, any somatic cell which is already assigned to a fraction when induced by certain transcription factor coded by gene. That gene is called the Yamanaka gene. It forms undifferentiated cell mass that is very similar to embryonic stem cells that can program to form various cell types. So Yamanaka genes are four essential genes that can reprogram the cell in our body. Actually these are the four transcription factors which is OCT4, SOX2, KLF4 and MYC. These genes are named after uh, 2012 Nobel Prize winner Shinya Yamanaka who discovered it. 
Recently, Yamanaka Zin was in news again. Scientists have found a stress factor called interleukin 6, which is IL6, that may be responsible for reducing the efficiency of the Yamanaka gene. Applications of stem cells are very wide, that include whole organ manufacture as stem cell regenerate organ, it can form organ. It also used in Alzheimer and Parkinson like disease which is a nerve disease so stem cells are used to regenerate nerves. Most interesting application of stem cells is personalized medicine. Every person have a different genetic material. So if a medicine is working best for a person may not work for others. So these stem cells are used to make personalized medicine that is ge individual used genetic material but these stem cells can be used to make personalized medicine which is based on individual genetic material and these are future of medicine another application is in regenerative medicine that includes the possibility of growing tissue and organ in the laboratory and implanting them when the body can't heal itself if a regenerated organ cell would be derived from the patient's own tissue or cell, this would be potentially solve the problem of the shortage of organ available for donation and the problem of organ transplant rejection. So that's it. We tried to cover all the aspects of stem cells. Thank you.